Hi everyone, I'm Emma from the Simulate Products team and I'm excited to introduce you to the updates of our Visual Logic Editor. Visual Logic is Simulate's scripting tool, which lets you build detailed logic into your simulation to describe exactly how you want it to behave. In our first release of 2022, we've made big improvements to the Visual Logic Editor to make it easy to get started with and have added an extra mode for the real power users. First, we have added a tabbed menu on the left-hand side of the editor window. This gives you access to visual logic commands and your simulation objects, labels, global data items such as spreadsheets, and KPIs all in one place. This addition will make accessing your simulation data faster and it will help speed up the time it takes to build your logic. We have also added new modes into the Visual Logic Editor. The first Visual Logic mode is the Logic Builder, which allows you to build up Visual Logic commands without the need to code. You can build your logic using our Visual Logic Editor wizard. Just double click on a command to begin. The next mode is Logic Writer, which is what was known as the free edit mode. This allows you to write your commands as though you were writing in a text editor and helps validate each line of code before you move on to the next one. The final and newest mode is Developer, which allows you to write Visual Logic code quickly without the need of having to validate each line as you go. Any errors or code suggestions are listed in an error box at the bottom of the Visual Logic Editor. This allows for quick and efficient code writing and helps point you towards any errors that may be in your Visual Logic commands. Another great improvement that we've added based on your feedback is the ability to copy and paste in sections of Visual Logic code. You can copy and paste this from a variety of locations, including other simulations or a text editor of your choice. All you need to do is press Ctrl C and then Ctrl V to paste. Once copied in, the error box at the bottom of the Visual Logic Editor will highlight any global data items that need updating based on your simulation. This allows for greater coding efficiency and provides a way for you to implement similar blocks of code in any of your simulations. We can't wait for you to try out this new functionality and to get your feedback. Check out our website to learn more about the newest features and to get started with Simulate.